Australia and Brisbane City on the trot. Preston had just come up to fifth place on the table after their 2-0 win over Footscray, but before then had been down in ninth position in the wake of losses to both West Adelaide and Green Gully. Laurie Schwab reports from Middle Park. League leader South Melbourne lost twice to Preston in cup games early in the year. Their chances today depend on the form of Ken Murphy and Oscar Crino, who both have been playing for Australia this week. Robbie Dunn of Preston also has been in the national squad, but of course he hasn't had a game yet. One change in the Preston team, goalkeeper Richard Wilson coming in, and uh, Philip Trionides, the previous goalkeeper, played in the youth game. Preston haven't lived up to their potential, so now they're negotiating for two Yugoslav stars, Mile Mitsevsky of Vardar Skopje and Peter Nitsevsky of Pelista. The team certainly needs to avoid mistakes like this one. Gives it away to Brown. Brown through for Egan. Egan facing the goalkeeper. Hits Wilson. Gets it back again. He's on the line. And finally the ball forced out. And it's a goal kick. Gary McDowell is being wasted by South Melbourne on the right flank where he is nowhere near as dominant as he was at Footscray. But he did set up a good chance for Murphy in the 14th minute. Gary McDowell. And Murphy tries one. Well saved, Wilson. Two minutes later, Oscar Crino, trying to work his way through the defence, gained the free kick from which South Melbourne took the lead. Oscar Crino. Going towards goal, going down over the foot of Vian Dobson. So the task is to get past this Preston wall. Richard Wilson's been in good form so far in this match. Brown taking it, and he does it. Gets it past Richard Wilson for his 60th National League goal. He's been chasing that one for quite a few weeks. Number 60, he's done it. Gary Cole, the all-time top scorer in NSL competitions, gave Preston supporters a ray of hope on a pass from Warren Spink. Spink inside. Lane forward for Cole. Cole going into the box. He's past one man on an angle. Good save by Lormetz. Zoran Ilioski and Sean Lane started another promising Preston move in the 26th minute. Zoran Ilioski. Three men waiting in the box. Postacoglu hassling him all the way. Sean Lane joins in. Gary Cole square for Lane. Spink. Too high though. Another Preston chance went begging when referee Jim Fokianos decided that goalkeeper Peter Lormitz had been fouled. Comes back out to Ilioski for another go. Crosses higher this time. Underneath it is Lormitz. He misses it. Spink was the best of the Preston forwards, but he should have done better when he broke away in the 41st minute. Here's Spink breaking away. All the South Holland defenders retreating. Spink holds it up, tries a shot, but straight into the arms of Peter Lormitz. The second half was only three minutes old when Flavel made a horrible mistake that cost Preston plenty. Flavel losing the ball, and this gives Egan a chance. He faces the goalkeeper, he's got a score here, and he does. Third goal was disallowed in the 50th minute, and only referee Jim Fokianos knows why. And taken well in the air by Wilson, he loses it, and here's another chance, Wilson puts it in, no, no, says Fokianos. Wilson handled outside the box, giving Brown another one of those dangerous free kicks. Doug Brown, can he get another one? He scored South Melbourne's first with a free kick in a similar situation, a nice swerving shot that time. And here's another one, hits the bar this time. And then came an incredible goal that left your commentator speechless. Crino. Brown overhead shot. And it's in the... Oh, what a goal. Well, that certainly would be the goal of the year. So that's his 61st National League goal. South Melbourne's third.